All right, so we got Vladin versus HLB, SoCal's newest ranked me brawler. Right into it, no button check. Immediately you see HLB with these balls of death. He's going to be throwing at Vladin for most of this game to kind of keep him away with that sword. Oh my goodness. Dash attack is a super good like combo extender. It has so much range. It's like super deceptive. Oh, and there you go. You get too close to the shield, you get a bead. Oh, and he catches that. The accuracy. Oh, another one. It's super rough for Lucina because she has to kind of be in that weird angle to recover. And when those balls bounce, they still keep that hitbox. So it's kind of annoying, but that up almost taking that stock. He up a little bit early to try to get the mix up, but HLB's ready. And he dropped his shield a little bit too early. The up does clip him. It's really risky. So here we are in game one. HLB with a massive lead, but the Ladin's Lucina known for its survivability. That's that's very true. It's so hard to kill this guy. Yeah, he and especially covered. with me brawler, it's um, it might be a little bit tricky. That's right. I wonder if HLB would consider going for that up B to just trade the stocks at this percent. Mm. I feel like if he does it close enough to the ledge, it might kill. But if he gets back aired that far down, it might not matter. Yeah, and just like that, Valadin turned this around. He took it with a backer at what, like eighty percent? Yeah, it's like. Me, me Brawler is actually kind of heavy, but I think the DI might have been a little shaky. Yeah. And also the Rage, 166 Lucina, it's rough. These up Bs from HLB, kind of ill-advised. The Latin's doing a really good job punishing those consistently. Super true. It, it's good, like, out of shield, but just in neutral, well, I guess it works sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> if you do it enough, it'll work eventually. Yeah, exactly. The closer you are to the ledge, it's almost safer. Yeah. Oh, waiting in shield. Quite an intense neutral between these two. No yeah. other one wanting to be the one to overcommit. And HLB is always going to want to land with those soft nares because it sets up for all of his combos. It's but a lot like Fox Nair, actually. Exactly. It, it doesn't, sadly, doesn't have like the Nair up smash, but it has pretty much Nair everything else in his tools. So it's it's pretty nice. Yeah. Oh, and that air dodge was so clean by Vlad and gets a grab right afterwards. Is he going to get the edge guard, though, or the ledge trap? That's the oh. question. Oh, okay. and the up B, is, it has a lot of range. It's, it scoops you up, too. It's like, that it's nice super tricky. Call out from HLB there. He knew Valadin was just waiting for an option. Oh, and he catches the jump from the ledge, yep. and that's that's going to be the stock. A lot of mileage out of this Lucina back air here. That's true. Has a lot of knockback. It's crazy. A lot of range, and it's fast, too. That's true. Nerf oh. back <laughs> Nerf back here, dude. Lucina's best option. Yep, yep. I don't know if you saw um, MK Leo kind of uses down air by the ledge, mm. which is actually crazy. It sends him out like people, no, no one knows the angle it'll send you at. It's crazy. Yeah, I would like to see more Lucinas try that. Seems like a very underutilized move. Oh. HLB evening up the stocks here, but still oh, quite lands behind. with the Nair. And he can't overextend either because Nair is always available for Lucina. Catches a lot of stuff. Yeah. Oh, down air. Interesting option from Vladin. Oh, catches that one there. Off stage, another back How's air. He's gonna recover though. He won't! Ooh, he does oh! it! <laughs> oh my gosh. Taking him down. He goes too far down. The range, like I said earlier, it, it'll catch you if you try to challenge it and you're not quick enough. That was that was crazy. Yep. Aladdin in the driver's seat that entire game at the very last time. Oh gosh. He just says, <laughs> you know what, if I'm going down, you're going down with yes, me. Yes, man. And it's like one of the more consistent suicide kills in this game because yeah. he's almost always on top unless That's the other right. person gets a pretty I, good DI. I was wondering about that earlier watching another one of HLB's sets. If he did that on last stock, who would win? But I guess now we have the answer. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's super good. It's And that'll work even at like 0%, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it works like the, the spike isn't as strong at 0, but... It is. It does still clip you if you have a bad recovery. So yeah, a shame. But we're gonna see a, another me brawler. That's right. <laughs> the counter pick. Is he changing his move set or what's going on here? I don't is he know. Just like the shenanigans. Dude. Isaac <laughs> oh, okay. He's got a. All cat right. Hat? A cat hat. Oh, and he knows the alphabetical order. Ooh. The cat suit. Oh, all right. So. <laughs> oh, he changes the shock put. That's a crazy option. The shock put's super good. Oh, I don't, I this don't is see him getting too much mileage out of it versus this Lucina, so that might be the reason he's changing it around. 
True. And gives him the, the voice. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I find it so hard to take this character seriously sometimes, but then he can just, like, do things like we saw at the end of game one there. You can't sleep on this character. Yeah, it's, it's so good. It's such a good option. Even if you're in, like, the worst... You're in the worst situation off stage against Lucina. He literally could not <laughs> win that game. If yeah, he didn't do that. He was dead, no he, matter what. He didn't even have the flip kick before, but he does now. So yeah. we'll see if that helps him recover. I'm shocked he didn't out for that initially. That's such an amazing yeah, it, tool for Brawler. Honestly, it helps his recovery like immensely. But let's see, game number two, Pokemon Stadium two. Yep. Oh, scoops him with two nares, taking him to the ledge, and Brawler. Brawler can do his upbeat by the ledge. It's, it's super good because it'll snap right back. But, oh, nice grab. He gets right out of there immediately. Yeah, so far, not taking any damage Ooh, here. Vladin's on him. Yep. Oh, he goes for wow. a surplex. Another one. Oh, okay, oh, there's the damage. Soft nair. Yep. Oh, another Whoa. dude. That was a nice combo. Off of that ex wow. It, that move does 19 damage. That's nuts. It's, oh, he, it's insane. He's doing, I think that's what, the piston punch now, the vertical up B? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, it actually, it, it'll kill pretty early, but besides that, it's a really bad recovery tool, which is why I think he opted for the faint jump. <gasps> and he, yeah. you can't sleep on the so faint jump either. He changed, I think, every single one of his specials. I, I think he did. That's, that's a big mix-up. <laughs> I don't know what the rules are regarding changing specials here in SoCal, but I do find it a little weird that he would opt for that different up B. Mm-hmm. That's true, because like the the axe kick is super good. It's yeah, we saw what it could do that game. Once. Yeah, that won him the game. He changes his entire moveset. That's crazy. Yeah, effectively playing oh, a brand and that new forwarder. character just with all the same normals. Okay. Oh, and he catches him with the forward tilt, Still but he's not living. dead. He's pretty heavy. Yeah, it's that that's one thing. Wing him down. It is true. Oh, goes for a surplex from the ledge, kind of like Ganondorf. Yep. Effectively kind of does the same thing and goes for that up he had a shield but barely misses it. Vladin's yeah. definitely staying away from him. Oh, and wow. there it is. It's, it'll what kill a early. Crazy situation. So you could feel the tension from both yeah. players right there. <gasps> oh, the nair. Oh, okay. and he catches that tech. Vladin not too shaken up. Bring this to an even stock count. Getting a slight lead here. And I wonder how big the cat suit is. To really be like a mental effect, He's getting beat yeah, up that, by this cat suit. Feel good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he, he goes for that, like kind of like axe kick. I feel like the axe kick kind of like makes him up B more than other characters, but it might not be as good if he doesn't have that move. It does seem like a good out of shield option at the very least. Yeah, it's super quick, yeah. kind of like Mario's. Yeah. We'll Try and he he tries to land with the soft nair every time. It's like it's like what me brawlers love. Oh, Ooh. barely missing the surplus. I surplex. love that attempt, yeah. It's so good. It's 19 damage, it's so worth it. And we see he doesn't oh, have and that. Wow, in okay. the air, too. Yeah. <gasps> that's Is that going to kill? It. No, that's that's crazy. Nice damage, though. <laughs> There's a lot of oh. rolling here. There is. You guys are what? definitely shaking. That was a really nice feint jump. That oh, and the jump up smash. Yep, the, that anti air wow. is going to take it. What's going to happen now? Oh, not yet. HLB no longer has that axe kick X factor anymore, so Vladin could probably oh, be a little more comfortable going off stage here. That's true. Oh, Nair. Down tilt. Okay. Barely missing the surplex. Oh, man. And, like, combos seem, like, non-existent. Like, these two will beat each other up, and then they'll be right back to neutral immediately. Like, That's right. they're so good with their getting out of these combos. Just a blow-for-blow blow match right here. Oh. <gasps> oh my, he's going for him. I, I yeah. respect it. <laughs> that me brawler side beat kind of remind, reminded me a little bit of the Incineroar oh. Alolan whip. Just the way you can mix up your opponents with that. That's when true. Oh, and just, out, like that. just like that. Yeah. From the ledge. <gasps> he's going for those neutral Bs. It, it'll yeah. kill at this percentage. That's so weird. It's like an aerial jab. Yeah, it's super weird. And it's super strong too. Yeah. For some reason, all of his specials do crazy damage and knock back. Oh, nice. Very tense he saved situation. his jump. This <gasps> is such an important thing for Vlad in here. He does not want to be down 2-0. And this is winter semis. Yeah, so it is best of five. Yep. So he does have another game oh. if he does. Oh! oh! It, right out Living, of it. Just though. like Roy almost. That was like, yeah. broke the combo, but down tilt. How's till. he going <gasps> to? Uh, Neutral air. So smart oh, from and Vlad. he does take it. I don't know how HLB could have avoided that, to be honest with yeah, you. Yeah, he was, he was right in the corner and 
against a sortie, that's one of the worst places you could be. Such intelligent placement and timing on that Nair is going to net him that game too. Such close games from these competitors. You can see how Ooh. evenly matched these two are. And you see he has a battlefield pick, which is really good with that um, uppercut up B. And he does keep his same noob um, set. On the other hand, though, he did just willingly take Lucina to battlefield. That I don't know how wise that also is. Also true. The up airs on Lucina are just as rough as me brawler. But me brawler does have the faint jump to get out of that. So That's maybe he's not true. so worried. He is oh. going to be sticking here with the cat suit me brawler. That <laughs> game one me brawler being cast aside for now. He's on the bench. Yep. <laughs> And I, I've seen some HLB sets where he uses like three or four different setups. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw another setup. That might be just the move if you're yeah. a main. <laughs> like m take advantage of all of your character's tools and be able to adapt them exactly. to a matchup as the set goes on. But we're seeing not so much adaption here. At 99% to 25, it's not looking great, but he's still going yeah. for those oh, okay. surplexes, but he's off stage. That falling out of that forward air, unfortunately for HLB. Oh, forward air from ledge. It's pretty fast. Oh, and that yep. was a really nice shield break. Okay. Oh, my goodness. It's so fast. It's, like, hard to react to. <gasps> Ooh, oh, he's... So many mind games for yeah. these two. <laughs> that down air, by the way. I haven't seen HLB using that much, but that is a really solid tool for Brawler. His down air. The way I like to think of his down air, it's kind of like Wolf down air. Yeah. It's like, you kind of got to get that sweet spot. It's kind of difficult. But mm. if you can get it, I believe it's quite powerful. It is. It's pretty strong. Oh, and HLB would definitely be the guy to show that off. Yeah. Being the second seed in this tournament, actually. Crazy yeah. stuff. One of two power ring <gasps> players here. Oh. Not going to be able to get the KO, but that stage Faint positioning jump? is really nice. Oh, and wow. he catches him with it. That felt a little sloppy from Vladin, if I'm going to be honest. I feel like he was uh, he wasn't ready. that and then maybe upbeat out of shield. Oh, straight to the ledge. Nice faint jump to recover, but oh, wow. <laughs> okay. That was a weird DI, yeah. but it still killed. What on earth was that? <laughs> he di had that in, I think? He went straight up. Yeah. That was weird. <laughs> I've just noticed that these two, they do not let each other amass leads once the stock has been taken. Dude. They just trade them immediately. They're they're on each other, like, super evenly matched. Even for a Katsu me brawler. Right. <laughs> and HLB kind of has been doing these kind of low recoveries. I wonder if Vladin will try to catch that. I don't know how he could. Maybe just drop down back air or something. Yeah, something like that. It seems to be like his best option just because it gets away from all of Lucina's stuff by the ledge. Like that. It was yeah. He it's hard to it. get him. Okay. Not uh, up he's somehow not going to be punished by HLB there. And suddenly Vladim <sighs> can just low-key run away with this. He might. This is not looking super great. But HLB does have some clutch factors. That's but right. he does not have the axe kick yep. to help him out with some cheeky suicide kills. So we have to see where he can go from there. HLB kind of have oh. proven, though, that he doesn't really need the axe kick to make a comeback like this. He just gets those super solid conversions off of down tilt, off of side B, whatever. Super true. Oh. Aladdin's micro spacing outside of the dash attack was absolutely beautiful. Super true. And it's kind of hard to catch because it has a lot of range for just kind of sticking his leg out there like that. It, it, it'll catch a lot of sword characters if they do like a bad option. Oh, but the forward tilt is the good option. Yep. Making this Covering two to so one. Much space. <gasps> okay, nice. Getting the tech confirmed. Oh. Going for these surpluses. It's really good damage. It's just kind of risky. Man, he's going for a lot of them, yeah, but I respect the, oh, it. Oh, that Nair. Such a solid hitbox there, helping him out. Oh. Okay. That was smart. Reading the roll. Oh. oh, he went for the neutral B. That would have been crazy, actually. I'll be honest. I was kind of expecting a down smash there. Yeah. I could definitely see that. Catch both sides. Yep. But oh, oh my goodness. Oh, that. there it is, it. man. Wow, just like that. Just like that, the game's what a even. bizarre animation <laughs> that move comes. It is. Oh, when he gets him right out of shield. That's 16%. That's pretty good. That's yeah. crazy. Vladim was running away with this earlier, but now this has <gasps> been even up. up. Oh. HLB threatening to take the lead back from him. Oh, Just the like surplex. That. Wow. It's so fast. HLB, which nice has had a massive tilt. burst of momentum, bringing him back into <gasps> this game. Forward air. 
Oh, he tries to go for the neutral B. He's he's going for some crazy options. He really is. Vladin doing his usual <gasps> safe type of play, Ooh. but did he try to? Did his up B get hit by the up B? I think that might I think, be what happened. Yeah, I think he did it right after. I saw a dolphin slash too. Yeah, that was nuts. That was so fast. <laughs> What's oh. gonna happen now? How's HLB gonna do this? He doesn't have shot put. He doesn't have shot put, but he does have that up B. If he can get him. Kind of like on the higher end of the stage, he might be going for that. Very, very smart high recovery from HLB, not wanting to mess with Lucina's edge guarding options. Ooh. And now the low recovery to make up for it. Such an important game three here. This is a pivotal moment in this set. Ooh. Oh, in the back air, right out of shield, super quick. HLB getting a little hungry for that KO. <gasps> nice grab. It? That should kill. No, no just that's barely. not. That's not super good. Oh, he oh what's he doing? Is that death? No <gasps> way. No tech. Vladin. Oh my god. Man, he actually caught. I, I think that might have been like a re grab on Vladin's part. He re grabbed ledge yeah. and then got and, caught for it. <laughs> and we saw the blue thing. He could have teched that, but who is expecting something like yeah. that? Yeah. And it, it is. I'm, I'm not sure if it matters, but it is a multi hit. I'm that's not sure if that too. would make it harder to tech. That's yeah, you have to wait until that last hit. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, good stuff to HLB clearing that up. Is he going to stick with the same? Yep. Yep, there it is. Man. The cat has come out of the bag, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's true. And he is looking to put this Lucina right in there. Oh, immediate surplus, 22%. Super good. I feel like that little animation, it just takes so long. It, like, digs into your soul every time he drags you down. Right. Oh. That, that's so tilting, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Vladim, though, not really one to usually get tilted from my experience. Oh, and he's snuck showing the back air. he's able to keep his composure <gasps> here with these Ooh, nares. Nice nair. That was the aerials are really what's keeping Vladin in this set because he is able to consistently stuff out these aerial approaches and recoveries from HLB, which is leading him to getting these stocks and keeping it even. That's super true. Like, like being like being on the ground, it kind of. He can get a lot of these like out of shield up smashes or out of shield up tilts to kind of start some combos, but in the air he can't contest with the sword. It's it's the range is too high for him. But oh. HLB doing his best to get around that range right now, having a little bit of trouble actually. But I feel like we might be seeing a side beat. Yeah, he tried yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, soft nair. Nice. Knowing which way the nair was going to send the lad and, and being able to confirm off with that dash attack, very. Intelligent Ooh. brawler play. Oh, Ooh. and he gets the neutral B? That's crazy. Up B is super laggy, so... Yep. Oh, oh, but that's another okay. call out. Thundercats, Ooh. no. Where's the mash? No mash. No. <laughs> HLB. That's... I will say that's another thing that could be really tilting, is missing a shield break punish like that. Yeah, for I, sure. I'm glad I'm not seeing me too affected by it, though. And Vladin's kind of hanging out by the ledge. I think he's trying to get him off stage because, as you can see, like HLB's kind of keeping that center stage for the most part. And he kind of hangs out by the ledge, hangs out by the stage. Ledge trapping being one of Lucina's specialties, and honestly, off stage not necessarily being where Brawler wants to be. Very true. Oh, he actually tripped him, and then you can grab him out of the what, you grounded tripped animation. Him with dash attack? I think it was a soft nair. <laughs> How interesting. Okay. Oh, when no. he went for it, that would have been, that might have been the stock. Oh. It's cool that with that neutral B, you can stop it whenever you want. It's kind of like Dancing Blade in that way, where you don't have to fully commit to it if oh. you realize it's not going to work. Oh, nice parry, but nice grab also from Vladin answering right back. <gasps> Ooh. Is that like a reverse up B? Oh. Living that, though, but how's he going to survive? Faint jump. Oh. oh. If he didn't do that second jump, that second hit of... Faint jump, I think he would have been able to recover. That's right. Oh, is that? No, not yet. No, no rage. rage. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking for a back air or something? Or back air is one of his most consistent. Oh, but wow. not yet. Up smash would, but he does it twice. That's that is if at first he doesn't succeed. out here with these crazy <laughs> plays. Working out very well for him, though. And just like every single other game in the set, we are last stock very close here. Two super evenly matched players. I think like every single game they went last stock. It's like last hit. Too last either. hit, yeah. Oh, gets a grab. I don't care who wins this set, but I really do want to see a game five. I, Me too. I've been having I, a lot of fun with this set. 
just so interesting to see how these two constantly Ooh. adapt to each other's play styles. Oh, and nice uppy right out of shield. It does like 16 damage that like we saw earlier. That's pretty worth it. But oh, he has to be super careful because Lucina can kind of box you out by the ledge, but Vladin kind of gave him that ledge for free. Yeah. Oh. There. Ooh. Oh, reliable. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh. Landing with these nares. Oh, but Finally he gets, gets something, the yeah. surplex. Is he going to be able to keep up this momentum? That's true. At 105, it's kind of scary against Lucina. One of one back air. Oh, nice down oh, tilt. Vladim not really opting to go too far off stage, which I find a little odd. Yeah. These, like, me brother doesn't have great responses. Maybe faint jump to get away, but he if you be, read that. He could be a little scared just because of what happened at the end of game one and then also game three. That's true. Save his jump, nice. Oh. Oh. And that Nair, you know, he's holding his shield extra long because he doesn't want to get hit by that. HLB's ledge play, just, oh, wow. Clean, he's Barely patient. Just timing that, yeah. <laughs> oh, just nice dash attack. Keeping himself in this game. And soon oh. enough, something like a neutral B can KO. Air? But Not Vladim's yet, he's heavy. Wow, unbelievable. Oh. We're going to oh. see an up throw maybe kill from Lucina now. That's true, he's around that percentage. Just a one more oh, hit or two. It does not the down matter. air? No. Are you kidding me? That was a weird hitbox. <gasps> so tense. Oh, HLB. HLB's oh, hungry. he went for the neutral B. He's crazy. He says he, he knows he has a game to play with, but yep. the grab that up throw. Not do he it did. Wow. 192. Just X? like that. Game five, baby. Oh, reliable up throw, you know? You get into those percentages. Yep, yep. <laughs> But I'm glad we're seeing a game five. I wonder where HLB wants to go. He can't go back to Battlefield. And there's absolutely no telling who's going to come out on top here. I mean, this has just been such a blow-for-blow, blow, evenly matched set. And it's oh. it feels like neither one has managed to get a major edge over the other at any point. That's true. Like, there's, there's almost no true momentum. It seems like they're super close sets, but we see a character change goes yeah, for the right. A, Lamau. Me brawler and I not the cat. This is the one we saw win game one. I think you're right. I wonder what he's plotting here. That shot put's gonna be back. That axe kick is gonna be back. No faint jump though. That'll be that's big. true. He had um. Did he have the Yoshi down B or? I don't recall. If we even saw a down B. Yeah. Oh. And I th I think the the ball is a really good uh, neutral tool, especially with no platforms. You kind of don't really have anywhere to go. Yeah, FD being a pretty solid pick. That's true. But it's not working out for him at the moment. Well, Adam That's true, running away with this. Content to play the spacing game here. Nice, the down tilts. This is me brawler heaven. There's no platforms to get in your way. You can get these yep. nice down tilt combos. Oh, catches him with the up air. Okay, oh. getting this momentum right back. Vladin's having trouble landing all of a sudden. Oh, tries to get a back air, barely missing, but Oh, was that okay. a surplex? No, that was. Was that the other yeah, multi hit? That was the uppercut <laughs> side B. Okay. That also kills pretty early. Yep. Oh, and that just from ledge? It. Wow. I guess 147 rage, that'll take him out. Super clutch there from HLB. That was looking like a really tough spot for him. And oh, this single hit Nair into forward smash. Vladid taking that right back. Yeah, those, that clean confirm coming out from him. I feel like we might start seeing more upbees from HLB as he tries to rack on this damage. The That's he true. He seemed really trigger happy with that move game one. It, it is like it's pretty safe. I, if he can catch like if he can catch Vladin hitting in shield. Yep. Oh, nice! He Shot poked him right yeah, there. Not actually hitting Vladin, but oh, doing enough. Okay. He does have the Yoshi down B, which does kill super early also. Yep. Oh, and Vladin's catching these down tilts a lot. Yeah. HLB needs to be careful. HLB, the one thing about FB, he does not have any platforms to retreat to when getting back to stage, which is making life easier for Vlad oh. in a little bit. Run up grab. You see him throw these shock puts. It's a little bit laggy if you catch him. Oh, man. Right, giving HLB a lot of space, but still able to get that grab. He's playing super patient. HLB's coming down with these nares and these aerials, but right, just like that, the dash attack. Now I wouldn't be surprised, like, by the ledge, you see up B, but wow. 
Actually not killing yet. Oh, barely <gasps> missing that back here. That oh, might but cost that him. It did. It. Wow. Really good reversal coming from HLB. Just oh, like that, down HLB tilt. is back in the lead. He's the getting a combo. A hard time getting these KOs. Oh my. The extensions. Axe kick, but doesn't get anything from it. Vladis he doesn't want to go down there guard. again. He needs this so badly. Oh. Especially since this is axe kick territory. That's true. He can't, like, go super far down. It's, like, super risky. Yep. And actually, the rest of the game will be axe kick territory, as we saw from game one. That's but true. <laughs> I feel like it's more threatening right now because HLB doesn't care. He's at 150 with the stock That's true. advantage. He, he can't do anything. He yeah. has to sit by the ledge because... Cena's offstage edge guards are so oh, potent. But the up a lot of not biting, though. Doesn't need to. Oh, and nice grab. He knew he was going to shield. He was invincible. What, what, else, what other option do you have? Like, exactly. Oh, and he catches what him. What a catch, yeah. That's crazy. It goes it goes so high. It's, it's such a good move. The shot put, not get it, not actually hitting Valadin really, but it is allowing him to manipulate where Valadin is recovering. That's true. But, oh, barely missing the axe kick. Can never count Lucina out. She's That's so right. good. We can oh. even see a shield breaker or something. That's true. That's that's all he needs is one shield breaker. <gasps> oh. But all the fees forward until it's from Vladin. This might be forward smash KO <gasps> percent. Is oh, I thought that was the neutral B, but I forgot. Nah. <laughs> oh, that could have been a forward smash. Oh, nice air dodge away. He was not having any of that. So tense right oh. now. All five games. Is that games. axe kick gonna cost him? We're gonna find out here. <gasps> oh, HLB seems a little scared right oh. now. He can't kill with a grab yet. Only at 100. Oh, he's going off stage. What's he doing? Oh! Oh, he actually clips him with that. What the a sweet spike. spike. Vladin with wow. the clutch victory. Closing that out. That Absolutely was. Absolutely insane set from both of those players. Phenomenal. Jeez. That's crazy. Great spacing.